Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. Before we get started, I'm just gonna say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you resonate with what I'm saying or you just wanna be supportive, please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button as well. It helps me grow and it lets the algorithm find its way to people who have not came across this channel yet. Today, I wanted to talk about nine to five burnout. I've been working since I was in college on and off. And then after college, after having my son, I've been working ever since. And I have realized that I have never really taken a true break. And so on top of that, I've also been a content creator. And in the last five years, I've really taken content creation seriously. The pandemic, I really, really got consistent. And so now I consider myself a part-time content creator because I get paid every month creating videos. I get paid every month working my nine to five. So I'm a nine to fiver and I'm a content creator part-time. I aspire to be a content creator full-time one day. I aspire to make the sort of income that I could literally only do that. But realistically, I have struggled with burnout, whether it is just the speed of having to spend 10 to 12, 13 hours a day focused on work-related things back when I was commuting to the pandemic times when things were real crazy and I was working those 12 to 13 hours days from my home while also helping my son through virtual school in the pandemic, then adjusting to going back to school after the pandemic and then after it was over, adjusting to trying to get him acclimated to regular school, to still having to adjust to different roles, teams, different assignments, different structures, different problems of the workplace. And then also trying to balance my YouTube channel on top of that. Not to mention periods in my marriage that were just not great. And that required a lot of hard work, therapy, individually and together. Parenting hurdles. Things that went on with family members, friends. Like, it's been hard out here. Is my camera blurry? I see a vision for myself where I have a life that I feel that I can do whatever I want to do. And I'll be honest and say I felt like I had got close once I became a remote associate for most of the time. I felt like, okay, like I have that freedom. I can work from anywhere. I can build my schedule. But then things started to build up with my workload. And when that happened, it made me realize like, I'm not gonna really ever have that freedom that I really desire unless I become an independent contractor. But the income that I make from my nine to five is nowhere near what I make from doing YouTube. And that's the, the struggle because it's like, as a younger person in college, I missed the window of opportunity where I could have really did this full time. And I'm not in a position where I can just be selfish and choose to say, I wanna just do this. If you're watching this and you have that support system, if you are a stay at home mom who can work as you choose, or if you're just a younger person and you live with your parents and you're doing this and you really enjoy it, but you're not taking it seriously, like that is one thing that I would recommend to anybody who likes or loves YouTube because when you are a college student, when you are a high school student, when you are a young and in your 20s and you have the support of your parents, that is like the perfect time to build a business for yourself. Especially if you have that support system that isn't making you like sacrifice whatever you're earning while working to contribute into your home so you can actually focus on building something big for yourself. And I know it's hard within our communities, you know, I hate to say it, but when you, when you think about the black community, a lot of the times like, we don't work together as teams. We can be very self-minded and not very community-minded. And so there's traumas. We didn't, we didn't have the same advantages that other cultures had because of our circumstances of, and the circumstances of our ancestors, quite frankly. So 
it's harder on us because a lot of us who don't have wealth, whether we're middle class or we're a little lower than middle class, you don't always have those opportunities where you can just exist growing up and not have to worry or stress about bills and money and things like that. You know, I grew up with two parents married. They ended up getting separated and then later divorced. My dad remarried. My father was a real estate agent and my mom was a stay-at-home mom. And when that was their dynamic, they were doing pretty well for the first few years of my life. But then my dad ended up losing everything financially because of poor money management. And that's what caused us to have to start over. My mom ended up moving to the projects after spending some time living with my older sister, who at the time was um, a beautician. So she was making pretty good money out in Cobb County. And she had her own apartment and stuff like that. But my sister also had some ways that were just not so good. And we had a 20 year gap between us. So her being 20 years older, the way she grew up was completely different than the way I grew up. Not to mention my mom had her very young. My mom had me in her 30s, married with a husband that worked. It was a different dynamic. So my sister had trauma, my mama had trauma. and. We came from a family that did not have much. And so that's that survival mode, right? And so the point of me bringing all that up is to say like me, when I came, my parents instilled in me the importance of going to school, the importance of going to college, getting that job, living this wonderful life, because this is gonna prevent you from being in these situations where you lose everything, in these situations where you can't financially afford to maintain your lifestyle and take care of your family or kids and so i was able to break those i guess generational curses if you will my dad dropped out of college he was going to clark atlanta university and he was studying something in communications my mom she dropped out of high school because she had my sister in high school she did get her ged when i was in elementary school but i was able to finished school despite of my mom passing in 11th grade when I was 16, I was able to still go to college. I was still able to pay for school even though we did not have a lot of money because I was smart and I had scholarships and it literally paid for me to go to school. And I went to school, I got my degree, but I made bad decisions because I was still learning and I didn't feel like I always had the guidance that I needed. And I was also hard headed. Like most young people, we get to a point in our lives where we think we know it all and we do what we think is best even though we don't know what we're doing. I ended up having my son. I didn't have him while I was still a student. I was pregnant while I was still a student. So I graduated a month before, give or take, maybe a little more, over a month before um, he was born. And so again, I had to kind of go in that survival mode once that became the case because I became a mom. And so it always became, you know, providing for your family. And so I did have the support system of my parents. They did allow me to save. They did allow me to find a job, work it out. But what I'm saying is where I think I messed up, aside from just like staying in relationships that I shouldn't have longer than I should have. Y'all know I've told that story on this channel a bunch of times. But I think where I messed up was where I had passion and time to really pour into this channel without all the responsibilities. I did this, but I wasn't taking it seriously. I wasn't paying attention to metrics. I wasn't trying to figure out how to make it a business. And I was just chasing a job because all my life, my parents said, you go to college, you get a job, you get the degree, you're gonna be set. And now I'm in this spot in my life where, okay, I got the degree, check. I found the job, check. I have the money, check. But <sighs> there are certain aspects that I like and enjoy but this is my passion being free talking to you guys being myself sharing my life travel spending time with my family my friends being carefree i hate stressful days that are about things that really won't matter and at the end of the day if i died tomorrow them folks would probably have the wreck of tomorrow Pour into the things you love. If this 
thing that you're doing right now is not what you want to do five years from now, figure out your plan. There's more for me. I know that God has intended a bigger plan for my life than, than this. And I think that my parents told me what they told me because that's what they knew. But there's so much more to life. And so, you know, don't, don't let people put you in a box. Don't let people make you feel like your only option is where you are. There's always more room to grow and more room to do. So on this channel, y'all, I'm about to do as much as I can do. And in those moments where I just feel like I just want to throw in a towel, I want to give up, I'm going to just hit the camera and start talking because I know it's going to pay off. And I have been getting closer to God. I've been praying more. I've been going to church. I've been spending time with him, praying in my shower, talking with him. I've been trying to speak that life over my family and remove that spirit of giving up, basically, because... That's what Satan want us to do. He want us to feel like, yeah, that's right. You're not going to get where you want to be. You're going to keep being stressed. You're going to keep being in this situation. And so I just continue to give it to God and, and trust the process and keep on working at it because I know that I will get to where I'm trying to go. And in the meantime, I'm just grateful for where I am right now because all the hurdles that I've had thus far have built me up and made me better professionally as a content creator and in life so yeah y'all that was just my uh my rants of the day i guess i hope y'all enjoyed this video comment down below let me know what you think i'll talk to y'all later bye